Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to say good morning and good afternoon, depending upon where you are, uh, to joining us. Uh, we'll talk about the Pensando systems, our journey when we started it. Just uh, to let you know, Pensando means thinking, and this is a new way of thinking. So the company got incorporated in December of 2016, and the founding team is myself, Sony Jindani, Vipin, uh, Mike Gallus, Krishna, and Francis. Some of them are joining today. Our board of directors are John Chambers, which you know very well, is our chairman. Mario Masola, who you also know pretty well, is vice chairman. Luca Cafiero, myself, Sony Jindani, Randy Pond. Josh Matthew from Goldman Sachs is also on the board. Barry Eggers from Lightspeed. Mark Potter from HPE. These are our board members, a very strong board team. Currently, we have about 255 employees. Majority of the employees are in software and uh, engineering, uh, 38 in A6, 13 in hardware, and sales and marketing. We just built up the complete team actually recently. In terms of the uh, funding, our Series A funding was $71 million. Majority of that funding came from the founders as well as uh, internal board directors, as well as from Goldman Sachs and John Chambers. Series B funding, which we raised about 62 million, came from Oracle, NetApps, uh, Google Venture, uh, and uh, John, John Chambers also were participated in this particular round. Series C, we got uh, funding from HPE, majority of the funding came from HPE, Oracle, Lightspeed was part of it, Equinix, and all the people who invested before, including Google Venture, NetApps, Goldman Sachs, they also participated in this one. We closed the 3C in October last year. It was a great timing, 157.45. The total money we raised is 290 million, uh, approximately. Just to give you the background of the team, uh, we are working in this industry for many, many years. Our first uh, company was Crescendo Systems, which got acquired by Cisco, and that brought the switching technologies. So whenever we have all these companies which you see on the screen, we have done it, we look for a couple of things. One is market transitions. It's very important for us to look at market, what is transition is occurring in the market at that particular point. And second thing is, what is the differentiated value we can bring it into the market? If you remember, Cisco was a routing company and we brought the switching business to Cisco and with a couple of acquisitions, we made this into a multi, multi-billion dollar business and still going very strong. Cisco also at that particular time, looking for area to uh, bring voice, video, merge into, converge into a similar network. So we looked at it, uh, you know, how to converge the voice and video into data networks. And uh, as you remember, at that particular time, they were all separate. PBX was his own thing, and uh, you know, data was own, and video was his own. And that is really brought the Cisco Converge voice video data together. And that was a really, and we introduced a phone, which is IP phone, and that business really grew very well for Cisco. People used to tell us at that particular time, what do you know about the voice? What do you know about the video? Because we were a routing and switching company at that particular moment, and that became a very successful business, which gives a lot of opportunity to expand into the side businesses. The other main thing which happened is that uh, routing and switching were separate, then they became like layer three switching. So Cisco's routing enterprise wireless portfolio, we were able to manage it uh, for a couple of years. And then there was another way was going on, the storage networking. We started a company called Indiamo, which was a spin-in. And uh, there also we looked for the transitions uh, because the uh, storage area network with the fiber channel was really picking up a lot of momentum. We saw that we can bring, just like we bring the voice into the ethernet, we also wanted to bring the uh, storage into the ethernet and Indiamo was formed. And that was a very successful uh, work uh, which is went in and that became very good business for Cisco in again converging storage into with uh, networking, storage area networking with networking. The next one was very interesting uh, thing for us to get Cisco into the server business, which was part of the NOVA. And this one was very, very interesting because 
we have a partners at that particular time, which is we were working with, they were all in uh, you know, server business. Idea there is what transitions can we bring because server, as you know very well, is packaged together. We wanted to bring a lot of innovations at that particular point. So we, we looked at virtualization, which was the transition going on at that particular time. We looked at it, uh, the networking, because most of the Blade servers which were out there in the market, networking was afterthought. In the UCS, we designed the networking as a prime thing so that the CPUs can get connected. And it became a very successful business for us. We also added capabilities to add more memory than what even Intel allows us to do at that particular time. Four times more memory we can put it in and became a very successful product. The last but not the least was the NCMA. We started in 2012. All these are spin-in, uh, which we did with Cisco. And this was another thing when market was looking for STN. We developed a product which is marketed as ACI, application-centric infrastructure, which is very successful. We also looked at it, how to do the eVPN and other solutions with a standalone switches. And NCMA was very, very successful uh, venture for Cisco and it's continuously growing. When we were starting Pensando system, we were always, like I said before, looking for transitions, which is occurring in the industries. And this was a big transition which is going on. You can see the list of these things. We are a solution people. You know, we always develop solutions. We wanted to do a chip to address, uh, which is you're going to see it, uh, uh, Francis will talk about it, to make sure that we can meet these needs or transitions which is going on. Because as you know very well, these are design, uh, which is programmable architectures. And we wanted to make sure that we can meet the needs of many transitions which is occurring in this particular time. So the first one was public cloud providers were moving to smart mix. And this we saw from Amazon and also Microsoft and Google. Cloud and enterprising, they were buying the high-end servers. The reason for that is they wanted to virtualize it. They wanted to consolidate. And uh, so that was another transition which was already happening and, and more and more so. Hybrid cloud was a new norm in the enterprise because they want to leverage the public cloud and they want to also have some internal which, which they cannot move to public cloud. So how to make that work? That was a new norm at that particular time. East-West security is required to complement parameter security because parameter security was not enough once you get into the data center, it can create a lot of problems. So people were very consciously looking at taking the appliances and putting into the data center for east-west security. Services like uh, firewalls, load balancing, and other services from the network services were shifting from physical to virtual appliances. And this was another transition which was going on. And people start realizing the virtual appliances itself is not going to cut it. You need to have some acceleration. So we looked at that particular point of view and the same was true for network function virtualization, which is a lot of service providers, particularly the wireless uh, providers are looking at it instead of buying the big boxes to look at the commodity servers and put this functionality on top of it. That was another big shift was going on into network function virtualization, which also fits very nicely what we are doing. Other one on the storage is the NVMe is driving the transition to school scale out storage. And that is another big transition which has just started to happen during that particular time. And we can also look at that, that market is uh, pretty, pretty going to be pretty huge. Our containers are the next wave within the developer communities. And that was just starting to shaping it up uh, at that particular time. And we wanted to make sure that all the network services which you need to provide for container services, just like you have for VMs or bare metal, we wanted to make sure that we can provide a consistent architecture to solve some of these problems. As a startup, as you know very well, we cannot do everything uh, at, at the same times. So we, based upon our partnership and our investment with our strategic partners, we are doing some pieces of this particular technologies as you will see it further. 